Hi friends, my name is Akshans and welcome to Cadet Academy. In this lecture, we will study the water marking by using the discrete cosine transform. So here you can see the code. Now I am going to explain all the lines of the code. You must be familiar with these uh, three commands that is CLC, clear all, close all. After that, the first line is here. I am reading a image that is cameraman.tif and this is the image and I am reading this image and I am calling that image as i and in this line I am creating a plot of 2 cross 2 and the first section of that plot I am showing the image that is i image okay this one image and I am adding the title to the image that is what original image now in this line I am converting the image into double by using the command I am to double then after that I am finding the discrete cosine transform of this of this double precision image after that again in the plot that we have created here of 2 cross 2 at the second section I am showing the another image that is what DCT of I that is what we are finding the DCT of the image that we call as original image here okay and i am adding the title again that is what dct of original image oi and in the next section what i am doing here i am reading another image and i am calling that as b and that image is water m 256.jpg i am converting this image from rgb to gray scale by using the command rgb to gray so this image is not uh, this image is not in grayscale that's why I'm using the command RGB to gray if your image is already in grayscale then you you don't need to apply this command here now in this line 13 what I'm doing as we created the plot 2 cross 2 at the third section of that plot I'm showing another image that is W and this is the W image that is what grayscale of the image B and I'm adding the title as the watermark image in next line I'm again converting the watermark image into double and after that I'm finding the discrete cosine transform of that WD image that is watermark image again now in the plot of 2 cross 2 at the fourth section I'm showing the image that is DCT of the watermark image that is DCTW I am adding the title there that is what DCT of watermark image and then what I am doing to do the watermark I am just adding DCT of watermark scaling that by the factor of 0.5 and I am adding the original image by scaling the DCT of original image by the factor of 1 divided by 0 0.001 that is 1000 ok now the watermarked image is inverse discrete cosine transform of this uh, inverse discrete cosine transform of this thing dct wi and i'm adding figure you know figure is used to create an another figure and again after that i'm using subplot and now i am creating a plot of one cross three where one is the row and three is the number of columns so at the first section of this 1 cross 3 plot I am showing the image i that was what our original image and after that in the plot of 1 cross 3 at the section of 2 I am showing the image that is what watermarked image wi this one ok this is what I am giving a title of watermarked image ok now let's come to the extraction section this is the equation to get the original image extracted from this image okay so I'm taking DCT of this image first then I'm subtracting the watermarked part this was the watermarked part this was the watermarked part so I'm taking DCT of this image after that I'm subtracting the watermarked part then I am getting this whole section that is what dct of i that is what this section and after multiplying with 0 0.001 
like here we divided the uh, here we divided the original image with 0 0.001 now here i am multiplying the section with 0 0.001 then i am getting the dct of extracted original image now i am taking inverse discrete cosine transform of the image that is dct of extracted image and finally i am getting the image that is extracted image in the last line here what i am doing here is in the plot of 1 cross 3 at the third section i am showing the image that is extracted image and the title is extracted watermark sorry this should be extracted original image okay now let's run this program add to path and here you can see in the first plot what we added at the first section in the plot of 2 cross 2 in the first section we added the original image we showed the original image after that in the second section we showed the dct of original image in third section what we did we showed the watermark image and in the fourth section what we did we showed the dct of watermark image and in the plot of 1 cross 3 what we did at the first section we showed the original image as second section we showed the watermarked image and at the third section what we showed is the extracted original image so here you can see this is the original image after watermarking we are getting this image so no one can extract the original information from here until it is not extracted as as we did here so so the extraction of the original data is not is not much easy from this image and this is what we call as robustness of the watermark and thank you for watching